you can see the guy's, uh, you know, disproportionately small feet. And interestingly enough, normal size hands, even though this suit looks like it's, the proportions are like way off on everything in this picture. What's up guys, Derek, more plates, more dates, dog on. Today we are going to be looking at uh, this uh, Reddit thread. This guy has size three feet, even though he's a full grown male at five foot 10. So this tweet sort of went, I don't know if he'd constitute it as viral, but um, baby Jeff has 1,800 followers. And she says, I would never post something like this. And then post this, uh, the thread about the, I have weirdly small feet. For my height, 5'10". Yeah. You can see the guy's, uh, you know, disproportionately small feet. And interestingly enough, normal size hands, even though this suit looks like it's, the proportions are like way the fuck off on everything in this picture. But anyways, this had 7,200 retweets, 96.8K likes. She says, I went into, I don't even know if this is actually the chick though, because on Twitter, there's, there's always people pretending to be other people. I went to this guy's account and every post is about his tiny feet down bed um and then it's I'll, I'll go into his post after but she's like scrolling through his uh his uh reddit account showing all the threads he's made about his tiny feet use this light to distract girls from your tiny feet um anyway so this uh thread blew up essentially what, what does it say men's and children's shoes are typically sized on the same scale in america while women's are 1.5 blah, blah, blah. so i assume he wears a three in kids shoes so anyways i was you know i sort of went down a rabbit hole for this because i was like well what is this is this some sort of a growth factor deficiency how would it be localized like this what kind of like diagnosis does this guy have like what the fuck is the deal so i went to the reddit thread I've got weirdly small feet, size three for my height, 5'10". You see the picture, the small little shoes here. At first I thought it was fake. I was like, okay, hey, there's no way this makes any sense. Cause typically if you had like a disorder that would cause the relative lack of development of the bones in your hands and feet, it would sort of be in unison with one another. At least that's what I thought. So I was thinking like, maybe it's sort of like, well, obviously you can't compare estrogen receptor activation in your breast tissue like if you have uh, like one-sided gyno very common for example so i was like well what's the likelihood that you could have your feet not develop but your hands develop totally normally as well as everything else like this guy's full height full everything he doesn't show his face so i don't know if he has any uh mal i don't know abnormal development in his face as well but anyways um just because is it a family thing yeah it's a weird quirk i was born with disproportionately tiny feet they've stayed that way ever since i have smaller feet than ever anyone in my family my feet look completely normal though just small <laughs> big feet is a waste probably more effective with a foot <laughs> weighing less do you wear snowshoes to the beach well played <laughs> um do you like tip over a lot not a lot but i mean if i'm standing up for a long day and distribute my balance in the wrong way i can end up on the floor more quickly than i'd prefer bet you can scamper up a rocky cliff though yeah, man, I've got, I've got big goat energy. Um, so anyways, I thought this was fake at first. I actually ran it by Steve and Leo to see what they thought. And we were like, okay, this makes no sense. So I went to the rest of his post and he has, it's not like he just made this random one-off post and is like trying to get go viral or something. It seems like historically he's actually made multiple posts about it. Like he has, well, this is one day ago. He's like, I'm looking for advice on running shoes. I've got small AF feet size three so confined to kids shoes but i'm 510 so also need something durable with good support anyone else in a similar predicament was thinking these shoes below new balance kids fresh foam 860 v11 would work so anyways they're talking about like kids shoes here brooks ghost 13s um so anyways and he has a picture of his actual feet weird weird thing is this thread got deleted when you try and open it so you can only see the preview i'm 510 and my feet are size three. I might have the smallest male feet in the world. And he shows the measuring tape here with a normal looking hand, I guess. And the foot doesn't look that weird other than being small. Like some of these disorders you'll see like very abnormal looking like bone development and like weird directions and shit. But no, it looks uh, just small, like he said. Um, here he made a thread five months ago asking, why are my feet so incredibly small? I am 5'10", yet I have size three US feet. I've always wondered why this might be. I find it described by doctors as just a cork, but wondering if there's anything deeper behind it. 
So obviously it's not just a cork. Small feet do run in my family, but I'm talking like my dad wears size eight. No one has such small feet as me. Hoping to get a clearer answer about this and perfectly healthy otherwise. Thanks. And then in the thread, let's see. It's just evolving backwards. <laughs> feet size correlate with the size of your penis. Have you checked for a small penis? <laughs> uh, dick. Um, that uh, has something to do with the Hox genes, body design, going by memory here, specifically the Hox genes related to your feet, I am assuming. So, and then he has more pictures of his feet. And this is like five months ago, dude. It's not like he's made like a big clusterfuck of posts in the last week and is trying to reinforce his credibility. He's in all of the subreddits for interesting stuff. He's in mildly interesting here. Then he's also in interesting as fuck over here. <laughs> Some of the subreddit names. Uh, he's in medical over here. He's interesting as fuck again over here. Yeah, so I'm surprised. Uh, I don't know how he doesn't have an answer to this. If he's a full-grown male at this point, you'd think he'd have some sort of diagnosis where he doesn't have to go into Reddit and make threads asking people, like, what is my problem? Five months ago in Funny, when your shoe size is a three, it's hard to not feel that everyone else around you is built like a goddamn... L, running shoes in smaller sizes. I'm a grown man who wears size three shoes. Every adult I know has bigger feet than me. So anyways, he's been making these uh, posts for a while now, five months deep. He's been asking about his feet. And yeah, like he has a decent amount of pictures. And from what I can tell, they don't look, oh yeah, I can't even fucking show you this one because it got deleted. It doesn't look like heavily manipulated Photoshop wise. Like I can't really see it. Like it's a low quality image, but I mean the hands look normal. And the feet just look non-existent, dude. So some of the other threads, what one, what one is this? Um, uh, it's like, I'm surprised nobody replied to some of these. Like some of these are, you'd think people have jumped in and at least like speculate. So, which is what I'm about to do. So I was looking it up. First thing I came across was acrodiastosis. Also A-C-R-D-Y-S. Less than 80 cases have been reported in the literature to date. Apparently, you know, as you would expect, there are mutations in genes that encode for certain things in the body that otherwise cause um, abnormalities and defects in the actual progression of growth in the body and specific tissues and whatnot. And I guess in this one, the differential diagnosis includes brachydactyl, I, I can't fucking say this. I've, I literally Googled how to pronounce this and I still can't do it. Brachydactyl, the brachydactyly type E, pseudo hypo parathyroidism 1a or pseudo pseudo hypo parathyroidism and i was like i was like that's kind of interesting how thyroid would play into this significantly so i dug a bit harder like this is a rabbit hole i was not expecting to go <laughs> tonight at all um there is no specific treatment for acrodysostosis patients should be screened for hormonal resistances in particular to pth and tsh so if you've research you know your thyroid health at all i'm sure you're quite familiar at this point of thyroid stimulating hormone this is basically what doctors will often look at to diagnose if you have hypothyroidism which obviously is incorrect way to go about doing it in my opinion but nonetheless it's an important biomarker to kind of assess how hard your body is working in order to produce adequate amounts of t4 and downstream t3 etc so like in general your tsh is going to be lower if your body has a sufficient amount of uh, circulating thyroid hormones and it's gonna be much higher if you need to produce more, hence the name stimulating hormone. Like you can almost think of TSH a little bit like uh, like LH in uh, the pituitary for signaling to the um, lighting cells to produce testosterone. It's like sort of, I don't know, sort of the most relevant example I can give. So anyways, and treat it appropriately following the same criteria, doses and follow up as in any other form of hypoparathyroidism and hypothyroidism and eventually treated for any associated endocrinopathy. Dietary and lifestyle measures to prevent obesity and supportive care for cognitive functions are recommended. Attention must be given in children to height, growth velocity, and pubertal development. So this was not what I was expecting. I was expecting some sort of like, well, honestly, I wasn't sure. I thought it was gonna be like something uh, growth hormone, IGF-1 axis related, some sort of localized impairment of like, I don't know, hormonal resistance and like the tissue. Like I didn't even know what the fuck I was looking for. I just went on this, <laughs> on this weird rabbit hole. Prognosis is unknown due to the lack of long-term patient data. Functional consequences, however, can decrease a patient's quality of life. So then I ended up, uh, and this is like the rare disease search database, which is where I ended up. And then I ended up over here in the Orphanet Journal of Rare Diseases. So brachydict, the fuck dude. Brachydactyly 
E, isolated or as a feature of a syndrome. So at this point, I was still finding stuff showing consistencies in that you would have small hands and feet simultaneously. And it's very like, it wouldn't be normal for this to be occurring in one or the other. So I was like, okay, maybe this guy's still bullshitting. And then I found this, which is, again, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to abbreviate it as BD like they do. It refers to the shortening of the hands, feet, or both. So in here, as you can see, very normal looking hands, unless he's like manipulated the photo somehow, and then tiny feet. And that's like the same thing in his, uh, in his thread. You see the, this thumb looks totally normal to me. And then his foot is like, you know, tiny as fuck. So I was like, okay, well maybe it can happen in one or the other, but it just seemed weird to me. There are different types of BD among them. Type E is a rare type that can present as an isolated feature or as part of more complex syndromes, such as again, same thing, the hypothyroid pseudo thing, hypertension with BD or but I don't even, I'm not even going to attempt this right now. HTNB BD with mental retardation or BDE with short stature. PTHLH type. Each syndrome has characteristic patterns of skeletal involvement, and there's a bunch of different subtypes which you can go find on Google. Apparently, and at that point, I was like, okay, this is a rabbit hole. I'm going to end up going far, far, far too far down, and it's not going to be worth my time because it's like a brand new area for me to look into. In addition, there are other syndromes that can be misdiagnosed as BD type E, some of which will also be discussed. The objective of this review is to describe some of the syndromes in which BDE is present, focusing on clinical, biochemical, and genetic characteristics as features of differential diagnoses with the aim of establishing an algorithm, our favorite word, for their differential diagnosis. As in our experience, many of these patients are recruited at endocrinology and or pediatric endocrinology services due to their short stature. We have focused the algorithm in those steps that could mainly help these professionals. So to me, it sounds like it's still very odd for this to present itself in such a like isolated way where it's like everything is normal, like your your stature, your bone development in your fucking legs, shoulders, everything, face, hands, especially are not aligned with what you're seeing reflected in the lack of growth in the feet. So he still has, you know, little kids feet, despite the fact that he's a full-blown adult. I don't understand why these are getting deleted. Sorry, this post has been removed. Removed posts from feeds for a variety of reasons, including keeping communities safe, civil, and true to their purpose. So I'm like, I don't really get how him standing there in a dress shirt and showing his tiny feet is somehow like breaking the rules of this. Like, I don't get it. So I don't know why you can see the preview. So anyways, this is him sitting here again. Feet look tiny. Again here, feet look tiny. Not many answers for this guy, and it doesn't sound like, it sounds like one of the main interventions for something like this is surgical, which is kind of intense, and I can just imagine, like, I've heard of some, like, the limb lengthening surgeries that people do to get taller, and, you know, some of the outcomes of that may be not so pretty in terms of a functionality aspect, as far as I know, so I can't even imagine grabbing, like, your feet and getting them, like, fucking broken on purpose and, like, stretched out in order to have a normal-sized foot, so... You know, for him, obviously he's lived with it for this long. Presumably he's going to keep it that way. And I'm surprised nobody has answers. Like you would think he'd have at least a diagnosis of like, oh yeah, like this is the disorder. And like, this is why this happened. And like, this is the probability of like my offspring, like having it too, or something like that. But no answers for this guy. So anyways, I'm dumbfounded. I thought it was interesting as fuck. Just like the subreddit implies. <laughs> um, maybe this one doesn't think as much. It's only mildly interesting in this one. But anyways, that is... Uh, the interesting tidbit of the day presented by baby jeff is how i found it i would never post something like this i don't really get what this even means like you would never post about like this is a faceless picture asking for advice on his feet so it's like i think that's a pretty harmless request to know like i think i don't want to know why my feet are fucking that small too so i don't really get why it's uh, a problem um oh shit he has his like shoe collection here 173 days ago he has his shoes here did he delete that because i don't uh i don't see it dude I don't see it anywhere here, but where is it in here? <laughs> what the fuck am I even doing, dude? Okay, anyways, I think that's enough for today. Anyways, interesting tidbit there, and um, a bunch of you guys sent it to me <laughs> because um, it didn't make sense, you know? And it uh, anything to do with, uh, we talk about micro penises on the channel, we talk about uh, growth hormone deficiency and uh, maxing out height in teenagehood and whatnot for those who have... Uh, you know, defects and whatnot, and uh, just other interesting little tidbits from clinical literature that have to do with uh, stature. So this obviously caught my eye. And uh, the conclusion is still a little bit unclear. But if I get an update, maybe I'll do another video. But somebody's got to have an answer for this guy. Like, I mean, how the fuck has he not had a diagnosis by now if he was a full-grown adult? I would think something would have come out of the woodwork at least. Or somebody would have replied to the Reddit 
with something reasonably helpful. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacementdates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplacementdates.com, more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchy, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre worker formulas, I design myself from scratch, anything else I'm associated with, including my recommended lab tests and diagnostics, it's all in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.